Swiss sandstone, and it is late Cambrian. How old is late Cambrian? <laughs> yeah, about 500. Yeah. 500, 495, right in there. And so, how much time, is, how much geologic time is missing uh, right where Warren and Kyle are standing between uh, Kyle's toes and his ankles? About well, 500 million. Give or take. Or 600. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's actually, yeah. a colleague of mine, I just said, time is never missing, only the rock. Yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, yeah, kind of. Like, that's assuming continuous. <laughs> anyway, there are, of geologic history, we're missing 600 million years, sir. Over half of the geologic time span between the red bluff granite and the present hmm. is represented by that little line underneath <coughs> Kyle and Warren's feet. And then everything else. Cristo Ray, the Franklins, you name it, uh, is that remaining 500 million years. Um, and what we're going to do is here is uh, in sedimentology is two things. One is we're going to take you guys now, I think are getting pretty good at fine grade, well sorted. You got the texture of <coughs> rocks down. So today we're going to expand that. And you're going to describe a short stratigraphic section that includes texture, color, round, you know, the rounding, sorting, all that stuff, plus bedding, plus sedimentary structures. So um, we're going to do a little structure here. Then we're going to walk up and find a nice place to do a strat section. And you are going to use your great structural geology to figure out how much stratigraphic section we're walking through. And so how high above the great unconformity will be starting measuring. And we're going to use the Jacob staff to measure, I don't know, three, five, seven, depends <coughs> on how, how big the said structures are, short stratigraphic sections. And then, and then that plus seeing lots of said structures will be it for my part of the day. But you're going to need more than that. There, there's two things that there's two tasks. I actually like two, but but part of that first task there are a number of different things. The first thing I want you to do is use sort of standard techniques like we learned last time. Find this contact, this unconformity contact, on your map, and draw that line on the contact. I think to draw a line on your map, sort of in this gully. Then, so that's the first thing I want you to do. Just try to do that. Then I want you to go out and we're going to, uh, well, I, I want you to make a, just a standard measurement of strike and dip, like over here and over here with your compass. Okay, so that's your first two tasks. That'll just be a standard geologic map task. Then I want you to reassemble and we're going to do a, another task after that. And that's why you need a team in which we're going to go out and we're going to put people on different parts of the contact and we're going to, to estimate orientations in a different way. We're going to do it by our, in the field, which is, you never really do it this way, but it's an illustration of a method that we'll do. Uh, and that, what that's going to do is it will we'll, we'll double check your map and I'm also going to use a GPS to find positions in that, and we'll use those a little bit later. That's why I passed out a GPS unit to everybody. And I gotta remember how to get positions like that right away. Um, you, I can't remember how you, I think it's, it comes up in the GPS unit, right? Um, In which program? In the art pad. Status. Status, okay. Stupid that it doesn't immediately give you the position. But mm -hmm. we'll, we'll re-rendezvous after. I want you to start just by drawing that map. What we're gonna do, in addition, so the second task, <coughs> after you get that, we'll do this other little task when everybody gets back as an illustration of, of uh, outcrop patterns and the like. And then we're gonna do, a, the second task we're gonna do is work on sedimentary thicknesses at a larger scale from a different method than using this, you know, one, two, three, four kind of approach of a 
quick and dirty way of estimating, not a quick and dirty, but a simple way of estimating total thicknesses of rock. And we'll, we'll exploit the GPS for that. So you're going to have to do some calculations. So you've got to just kind of write all that down, and we'll deal with that one later as we come. So we'll, before we take off, we have to all do that. But I first want you to just start doing that little mapping tab. Where do you want to do the little sediment? Is that right here? Yeah. Up, up there? Yeah, okay. up, where the, up where the sed structures are pretty. That's what I figured. So do, draw this, put this contact on first, and we'll go around and help you. And get those two strike and dip measurements, and then let's, we'll reconvene kind of like down in here. Yeah. Half an hour. And the first thing I noticed was I lied to you guys. Yeah. That um, where Kyle and Warren were standing is not the great unconformity. No, uh -huh. It's down below, I'm where you go from orange to pink. Yeah. So just so you know. <laughs> 